Hello and welcome back to Mr Hayes' Transfer Test Topics. Boy, that's a bit of a tongue twister every time I have to think about what I'm saying. This week we are taking a look at probability. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video because at the end of the video this week I have for you a little bit of practice to make sure you can use the knowledge from the video and put it to good use just to make sure we secure everything we have looked at. Okay, without further ado, let's jump in and take a look at probability. So what is probability? Probability or chance is how likely something is to happen. If something has a low probability, it is unlikely that this event will happen. If something has a high probability, it is likely that this event will happen. Now let's take a look at some of the language you can expect to see in questions that will appear in the transfer test. You can see here that there is a wide range of vocabulary used to describe the different situations of something taking place and with more practice you'll quickly get familiar with it all. Let's now take this language and put it in a scale ranking it from least likely to happen to most likely to happen. In fact you can see here the least likely is when it is simply impossible. For example, it's impossible that Mr Hayes can turn a diamond into coal. Otherwise, I would have a very happy Mrs Hayes in this house. On the other end of this scale, I have certain, and this is where an event is 100% going to take place or has taken place. For example, I am certain that there is an M in the word Monday. Then we have a range of vocabulary used to describe the different positions on the scale in between impossible and certain. Now take note of the words even chance. This might be a new phrase that you're unaware of, which simply means the chances of it happening or not happening are exactly the same. That's why it's positioned right in the middle of the scale. As well as using the language on probability scales to measure the probability of something happening, we can also use numbers, fractions and decimals. So when an event is certain to happen 100%, we say that it has a probability of 1. When it is impossible, definitely not going to happen, we say 0. You cannot have a probability less than zero and you cannot have a probability more than one. These are the lower and upper limits. An even chance is halfway between certain and impossible. So we can refer to it as one over two or a half because it is half likely to occur and half likely not to occur. Other fractions can sometimes be used as well. So let's take a look. Here we have a dice with six possible outcomes if I roll it. We have the numbers one to six. So the chances of rolling one number on the dice is going to be one out of six or one sixth. Rolling an even number would be three out of six or half as half of the numbers are even. The same could be said for the odd numbers, three out of six or half as half the numbers are odd. Now it's worth noting that the probabilities are most commonly shown as fractions in the transfer test. However, probabilities can also be shown as decimals or percentages. A probability of half can also be shown as 0.5 or 50%. Therefore, it's important to know your common fractions, decimal and percentages conversions off by heart. So really give some time to committing those to memory. So if somebody at home asks you, you can automatically convert from one to the other. If you want to know where to get your hands and which ones you need to know, they are on the Transfer Tutor website. So check it out and find the little list. Now, pause the video and have a go at this practice activity to help you hone your probability skills. That's it for this week. Hopefully you find this information useful so you can tackle probability questions with confidence. But don't go away just yet as I have another bad dad joke for you coming right up.